today I have a product comparison review for you. I'm going to be comparing MAC's Shaping Powder in Soft Focus with Ben Nye's Luxury Powder in Banana. So I originally hopped upon Soft Focus by watching That Girl Melly's recent favorites video. She had this one and another shade of the shaping powders and she thought that Soft Focus was really comparable to Ben Nye's Banana Powder or she thought that it would be. And so I figure I love Ben Nye's Banana Powder so let me pick up Soft Focus and see if they really do compare. So as you can see in terms of the coloring, um, they're definitely very very similar. Ben Nye's Banana is certainly more banana and Soft Focus leans a little bit more on the peachy yellow side. So it's like a shade, a shade and a half or so darker than Ben Nye's Banana. I hope that you guys can see that. It is showing up in my monitor so I'm going to assume that it's going to pick up on camera. This one obviously is a pressed powder whereas this one is a loose powder. Banana powder, this is the smallest uh, container that you can actually purchase. There are bigger ones but this is 1.5 ounces or 42 grams and Soft Focus is 6 grams and 0.21 ounces. This is actually a MAC Pro item, but you can purchase it from the website. Just go to maccosmetics.com and then do a search for Soft Focus or go to the powders or whatever, and you'll be able to find the shaping and sculpting powders. And again, this one is in the color Soft Focus. They come in a variety of different shades, so if you're looking for something a little darker, um, I don't know if they have any a little lighter. They might, but if you're looking for something a little darker or lighter, then definitely check them out because they do have different types of shades for different skin tones, so that's really, really great for both products. Sorry, I keep coughing because I have this cold and it just will not go away. It's so annoying. Anyway, um, again, this is pressed, so it makes it a little bit more convenient. You can carry it with you. It's very easy to transfer from one palette to another palette. You just pop it out and stick it in, or you can carry it like this by itself in its little container that it comes in, um, it's completely up to you. Whereas Ben Nice Banana is a loose powder, so it's not the most convenient when it comes to doing your makeup on the go, but it's doable, it's just not the most convenient. You'd have to shake it out, put it on something that's flat, throw your brush in, whereas this one you just dip your brush and then you're ready to go. With what they do, I've been using them definitely to set the under eye area and I find that they work equally as well. I, I don't see a difference in how you know, my under eye area looks when I'm highlighting it with banana or when I'm highlighting it with soft focus. What I do find a difference in though is that I can use banana powder all over my face. It blends in with my under eye area, it blends in with my foundation, and it sets everything just fine and I can, I'm out the door, I don't have to use a setting spray or whatever. I don't have oily skin, I don't typically use primers, although there is a primer built into the foundation that I use. So when I use banana powder, it sets everything and I'm not an oil slick and I just keep going and it works really, really well for me. Soft Focus does not do that. You can really only use it under the eye area or to highlight certain planes of the face under the eye, um, <clears throat> your brow, your cupid's bow perhaps, but it's definitely not a setting powder. I did do a comparison one day of trying both, like using banana powder on one side to set everything and then using Soft Focus on one side to set everything and the Soft Focus side was just... It's just not a setting powder. It's not meant for that, but I just thought that I would try it to see if I can use it that way. But it's definitely not meant for setting. This side was more, was definitely like dewy and um, I, mean, I don't have oily skin, but it, it was looking a little oily. I had to, um, you know, blot and just basically just reapply powder and I used Ben Nye to reapply on the side once I was getting a little bit shiny. So definitely do not use this as a setting powder because it doesn't work. But again, I was just trying it. I know that it's not a setting powder. I was just trying it for comparison's sake. So because Ben Nye is a little bit more versatile, I do prefer this one. I find that I reach for this one a little bit more because I don't want to have to reach for like one setting powder and one, you know, under eye powder and one. So I just find that I'm reaching for Ben Nye's banana powder more than I reach for soft focus. But if you're just looking for something that's going to highlight your under eye area, this does a fantastic job. I, I, don't, I can't complain about it in that regard. We don't have sweat gla or oil glands under our eyes, so we're not going to usually get oily right there. And so this works out just fine for highlighting that area. Um, I just don't think that I'll ever repurchase it because, again, if I'm only using it for my under eye area, this is probably going to last forever, and I can use this all over my face and it's a lot cheaper. So I will probably go with a cheaper version and be able to use it all over my face and just suck up the fact that I can't, it's not a pressed powder and it, it, I can't, you know, just dip my brush in and go, um, as opposed to Soft Focus, which retails for more, um, doesn't do as many things as banana powder does. And... Yeah, so I'll probably just stick with Ben Nye's Banana, but I'm not bashing MAC in any way. It's not a complete fail because it's usable for what they say it's usable for. So I'm not complaining about that at all. I just find that Ben Nye's 
banana powder is a little bit more um, convenient for me, so I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna stick with it. It's still like an HD product for me. So yeah, I don't. Use, I wouldn't say that I use Bedknife Banana Powder every single day, but when I'm gonna reach for something that's on the yellow shade of things, then I'm probably gonna reach for banana powder um, more than I reach for this. So yeah, <coughs> there's that coughing again. So I hope that that was helpful for anybody who is considering getting Ben Nye's Banana or getting Max Soft Focus. Um, again, they're both completely usable if you're just using them to highlight, but Ben Nye's Banana is more versatile in terms of what you can do with it. There are different types of shades, so if you have a different skin tone and you're looking for something darker and lighter, then that definitely exists for you. Um, if you have any questions, then leave those down below, or if you have any comments, leave those down below. If you know of any other powders that are very similar to Max Banana and you'd like for me to try it out and do a comparison, then leave that down below too, and I will try to pick it up and test it out for you. So that's it guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you next time, bye bye. Down the center. So what I'll do is I'll take the dotting tool and make a straight line of dots from cuticle all the way to the tip of the nail. And then I'll sort of catty corner or window the dots that are along the side.